really needing to shift my mindset to make space to let things unfold without any expectations. I didn't want to leave something from a place of fear. I wanted to leave a place in gratitude and excitement and curiosity for what was to come next for my new chapter. Hi loves, welcome and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ro, if you don't know who I am already. And today we are talking about how and why I left my home city of 23 years Las Vegas, <laughs> because now I am living in Charlotte, North Carolina. And honestly, it was a decision that really came out of nowhere. Well, I say out of nowhere, but really intuition hit. So I followed it. Um, but yeah, that's why I am mainly here in Charlotte, North Carolina, because I followed my intuition and not only really followed my intuition, but also practice balancing, leaning into the uncomfortable and also leaning into my human self and embracing the uncomfortability of finances and money and materials and practicing letting that go because I left Las Vegas when I had so many beautiful friends and I left my family and I left a place where I learned a lot and I basically grew there, grew there, grew up there for most of my life. I mean, I'm 30 now. So grew there. Why do I keep saying grew there? I grew up there going through a lot of amazing things and also a lot of not so great things, which are both needed for my journey to get to where I am now. And so I just wanted to share a little bit of how I was able to do it with not being able to make money at all in 2022 until it was time for me to go and then why just really getting into the root of it and and the root of it is because i did it to heal and to grow and to expand and at first i really just wanted to get out of las vegas as a form of escape and as a as I sat with myself and I reflected on it and journaled upon it, I didn't want to leave something from a place of fear. I wanted to leave a place in gratitude and excitement and curiosity for what was to come next for my new chapter. So really needing to shift my mindset to make space to let things unfold without any expectations. That was one of the mindsets that I had to shift into in terms of how I was able to make this move and literally take an SUV rental car and drive it across country in three days, put all my stuff in a storage unit because I had no idea where I was going to live and I didn't have a place to stay yet. I mean, at the time I was staying with somebody and just crashing at their place. And then I stayed at an Airbnb and then I got to move into my apartment. So it all happens on nat like naturally and unfolds with ease if the universe is really trusting you and you're trusting the universe. I totally said that wrong, but essentially if you're trusting the universe and you're following your intuition and something feels good and feels right, even though it may feel very uncomfortable, then that's probably what you're probably supposed to focus on. However, I'm not here to tell you what to do. You know what is best for you and your journey. I'm just here to share my journey and what I did. So going back to most of 2022, I was not really making any income. I was living at my mom's house and really just living my life. <laughs> In January, 2022, I dived into the exploration of 0% credit and credit leverage. And so I got $135,000 worth of credit as mostly 0% interest. And I was pretty much living off of credit. And I did have gigs every now and then, like Ghost Adventures would hire me again, even though I quit full time with them November 2021. I would facilitate sound baths and cacao ceremonies and energy work. And even though I was really grateful to make that money, it was something that I couldn't prove on a statement for an apartment to rent. And so last three months of 2022, my intention was to have fun and my intention was to move. I didn't know how I was gonna do it. I don't know how I was gonna have the money for it. But as I really focused on having fun and just really enjoying and not really worrying, I was able to prove 
with my bank statements and the gigs that I did with Ghost Adventures that I had income for the past three months for this apartment. And so I was originally going to move to Atlanta in October. I was there for about two months, had to go back to Vegas to take care of my grandpa. And then I came to Charlotte. And when I was really looking for an apartment, like I was really trying to find an apartment that was out of my three times the income monthly range, it was really hard. Like I felt like I was really trying to force it, but however, once I let go and once I got here and I recognized like, you know, this apartment is three times or like I can qualify for this apartment because technically I made three times the income these past three months, which is what they needed me to prove. And so I was honest about it. I was like, look, this is what I have. This is what I can do. Every time I rented someplace, I've always been self-employed, but really this is the, the seed I feel like I needed to create so that I could focus on my YouTube journey. And that's why I've been making videos every day. That's why I've been really focusing and putting my energy here in this space. I haven't been going out. I haven't been really, I don't have a car, so I can have, I don't want to say I can't, I have the opportunity to be more internal because I don't have that convenience of a car. So it's been really beautiful to sit with myself and sit with the uncomfortable moments of feeling like, why do I need a car? Because I have thought about needing a car and wanting a car and wanting to buy a car. And luckily I have been able to have access to a car thanks to Uber's rental program, which I will talk about in another video because that's how I got to drive a Tesla in Atlanta. Um, really being resourceful with what I have and the opportunities what, of what I have has been a way for me to practice frugality and being in balance with my finances. And even though I have $43,000 in debt from that exploration of credit leverage last year, it's something that I am really practicing to not be worried about because when I have that energy of a of worry and I'm putting that out there in the universe, it's just making it a lot harder for me to attract what it is that I am meant to unfold with grace and ease and abundance. So shifting my mindset to trust and believe that it's all going to work out. It's really uncomfortable in the moment and my decision to move to Charlotte was not easy. It was something I was excited for, but I also had fears and doubts and, and really let myself go through some dark places before I came here. Like bef two weeks probably before I moved here, I was really going through some really dark times and, and questioning my life and why was I doing this? Like, is this really going to happen type of deal? <laughs> so um when I made that decision, I, I knew it. I committed to it. I trusted myself. And I just knew that something had to change for me to change. And it all starts within. And really, if you move into a different place, whether it's physically in another state or a different place in your city, if you don't face yourself and sit with yourself and be honest with yourself, then the problem, I don't like to call them problems, the, the energy that you're running away from and the, the, yeah, essentially the energy that you're trying to wait away from is still going to be inside of you until you face it. So as I have been in Charlotte for the past month and a half now, I definitely have been uncovering a lot of old patterns like codependency and people pleasing and letting go of of my worries and just really practicing shifting my mindset being resourceful being frugal because this is setting my foundation for my success for my abundance and when i am focusing on myself and practicing on loving myself then that gives me the strong foundation to be able to share this with you and to hopefully inspire you and to be a living proof for you to go within and do the work and heal and really face those uncomfortable patterns and cycles that, excuse me, that maybe our ancestors have taught us 
or maybe that your environment taught you growing up because that is the foundation that's affecting how we are today. All the fears, all the doubts, all the mistrust that we have in this world, all the disappointments, these came because that's what, what was taught to us growing up. So it's up to you if you want to continue the cycle, if you want to break the cycle. If you do want to break the cycle and don't know where to go next, I am opening up my spots for one-on-one -on -one consulting work and um, healing work. So any questions about that, there's a link in the description box for that. I can speak English. I also want to thank um, everyone who's been tipping on my Ko-Fi, ko .com page. Don't know how to say it, but all the people who've been tipping there, I thank you because you're helping with my production costs and to keep this channel running so I could share these messages and continue to help others grow. And also thank you to everyone who's been liking, subscribing and supporting. It's been such an honor to have you be a part of this journey. If you've been thinking about moving somewhere or changing up your environment, let me know. I would love to hear if there's anything specific that you're going through that I could put up. I wanted to say potentially and possibly at the same time, but it came out like that. Bloopers. Thank you to everyone who was curious on my move and wanted to hear the story about it because without you, this video would have not happened. So until next time, I appreciate you. Bye loves. Just because you move into a different physical place doesn't mean you get to run away from your problems and not face them because eventually they're going to come back anyway. Once you work on yourself and sit with yourself and really ask what your intention is, is it coming from a place of fear or is it coming from a place of love, then you can get that next step for